if you are a programmer you are well aware that for a computer to make any decision you often have to write a lot of if else statements or conditionals and if something differs from the expected input it will throw an error so how does chat gpt or any ai assistant for that matter answer all your questions in this context we refer to the computer as a model and the model can actually think we teach the model using a lot of data helping it learn and know many things when we are confident that we have taught it everything it needs to know for a specific task we call it as a trained model so there are three ways in which we can train the model first one is supervised second one is unsupervised and the third is reinforcement learning we'll be seeing only two of them today in supervised learning we feed labeled data which means if we give an input to the model we also provide the corresponding output then the model finds the pattern in the data and uses them to make predictions so when you later present it with unlabeled data or let's say just the input it can infer the correct outputs based on the patterns it has learned when we first start with machine learning we start with supervised learning it is of two types or basically it can solve two types of problems classification and regression we will dive deeper into both of them in upcoming videos now talking about unsupervised learning we just feed data into it without providing any labels in other words we only give all the x values and then the model will automatically try to find patterns in those data points it will group similar data points together we have talked a lot about the model but what exactly is a model a model basically is a mathematical equation with some extra capabilities such as saving data to memory or more. now suppose you want to program a model which can predict the price of a bike based on its feature so first of all we choose the problem which is to predict a number so we'll go for linear equation so now we'll train the model using different bike features and prices so the model at first might give an error but it will learn to go back and fix it during the model fitting it does so until and unless accuracy is up to the mark we'll talk about linear regression in depth in the next video